This conference will now be recorded. So what we will do, we will uh, record this lecture also so that I can upload it and you can also access it from the link which I have. Uh, I will share uh, later on. Okay, so first we'll start with that. आप लोग अपने माइक एक बार म्यूट कर लीजिएगा जहां से आवाज आ रही है सो दैट यू कैन लिसन प्रॉपरली सो व्हाट डू मीन बाय क्वालिटी दोज हु वांट टू रेस्पॉन्ड दे कैन अनम्यूट एंड दे कैन रिप्लाई व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द टर्म क्वालिटी i hope you have gone through with these slides also uh, so just to again have a reiteration of the same which we have shared that you can see the cross by an expert related to the quality has defined quality is conformance to requirement or specifications what does it mean that whatever is the requirement or whatever are the standards that we have achieved so for that purpose if we are confirmed that yes we have achieved the level which has already been defined that we call the quality and in the words of juran he has said that quality is fitness for use yani ki jo bhi hum cheeze use kar rahe hain process hai system hai method hai people hain they are fit as per the requirement as per the expectation that we again call the quality i hope this term is clear to everyone what do you mean by quality you can reply also the term is clear what do you mean by quality yes sir okay so we move forward that is the fundamental factors affecting quality aur in factors ko hum 9 ms ke naam se bhi jante hain theek hai so you can see these are the nine ms which affect the level of quality in any organization or in any institution whichever is working to satisfy the customers so the first m stands for markets yani agar hamare what we need to also check that what is the where, where we are able to sell our products whether they are of standard as per the product we are offering or not that we need to again check again as per the standard as per the objective if we are able to sell the product in the desired market then we can say we have achieved the level of quality in terms of market second sir. comes money money also affect the quality ha bataiye subject yes yes to so, your voice is not clear please uh, please again i'm not getting you bol raha tha ki hello awaaz hi yes hello main chat ki awaaz bahut disturb kar rahi hai you can ask in chat box also so that i can reply so a market then we have money according to money we have to fix up the standard of quality as well if we do not have if we lack in money then we cannot have the high level of achievement related to the quality because we will not be having the capacity to achieve those level of quality so this is again a one factor which affect the quality in products quality in methods quality in using various plant and machinery at the workplace so for that purpose money will always re uh, remain the prime a condition if you have enough money you can have you can set the higher level of standards related to the quality which you can achieve because you have the capacity to achieve them but if you do not have money then you cannot have the high level of uh, uh, standards which you can achieve because for that purpose you need heavy investment also third one is management as we know very well ki we have ceos we have cfo we have ceos and the related and the other team members also upper level lower level and the medium level but if we can pay them the good amount the handsome packages then only we can get the quality workforce i hope everyone will agree upon this particular point ki management also plays a vital role in achieving the quality because they are the one who set the strategies who set the plans and who implement them now so for that purpose again if the management is very much strong then we can say we are more probable that we will be able to achieve the level of quality 
because they are the one who can control effectively but if the management is poor means if we are not able to again it is also related with the money if we can pay them the good packages we can get the good team for the work but again if we do not have the packages then again we cannot pay them the good uh, packages and we cannot get the quality workforce for our company so in that manner we can say the management also affect quality good management lead to the good quality achievement and poor management lead to the poor quality management next comes to the men men means team as we know the uh, middle level and lower level those who are uh, responsible those who who are supposed to implement the plan and policies formulated by the top level management so they are the one who those who implement it again if we can as we know very well we can differentiate between two companies like facebook and abc limited facebook is very uh, a good name which everyone can recognize and everyone wants to join the facebook but if we talk about the abc limited which no one has ever heard the word or the company name where no one would like to join only those people those who are not getting job they want to join the abc limited so in that manner we can say the difference between the workforce within the company itself that if we have a good quality workforce we can have the high standard uh, setting and achievement like facebook has achieved and they are delivering the quality platform like facebook and whatsapp but if we go with the abc limited we don't know what they are producing what quality is there maybe some hacking problems are there if they are producing some softwares these kind of errors come outside because of their we can say the low quality workforce which are not able to produce which are not able to meet the standards of the quality if you have any question you can also interrupt in between the next level is motivation motivation i hope you uh, we have already gone through in our mba first semester uh, uh, with the organization behavior where we have covered this term motivation also that motivation means which leads to work more which leads to which leads to remain engaged with the uh, organization so if motivation level is high means people will work from our from inner self but if they, their motivation level is low they will not work from inner self they are working only because they have shift they have job only for that sake they will be working they will find a good opportunity they will move as soon as possible but if the motivation level is high they will not like to leave the company they will remain with the company and they would like to work from their inner self so means it they will work more for the betterment of the company so always a management team has to emphasize upon higher level of motivation among the employees so that they can achieve the quality standards from inner side they need not to be controlled by anyone because they are working from inner self next is material as we know very well agar hum aaj baat karte hain apple iphone ki ya hum baat karte hain xiaomi ki ya hum baat karte hain oppo series ki we know very well what kind of material they are using if they are using good quality camera they can provide a good a uh, mobile phone if they are using a good platform good operating software where our experience is quite good compared to the other mobile companies hum apple ko aur baki company ko compare kar sakte hain why because they use good quality material good workforce high level motivation among the employee better management team they have the capacity to produce at a larger level means they have money and they have more reach into the market because of their product offering means if you are able to use the quality material you will be able to produce the quality product means we can say strong positive relationship between these two factor good quality material good quality uh, better quality in the product poor quality of material leads to the poor quality of the product next is machines again if we are using the high standard machines what does it mean maybe they can be fully automated maybe they can be the technically upgraded the latest one recent one which we are using then definitely we can achieve the higher level of the quality because the chances of, of error will be minimized with the upgraded version of the machines but if we are using obsolete depreciated machine then definitely chances of errors and depreciation will be more in the product itself which will lead to the poor quality of the product and the next one is mechanization mechanization here means the automation in the previous topic machines means uh, latest and recent one or the obsolete or traditional one mechanization means whether we are using automation system or we are 
using manual system if we are using manual chances of error will be higher chances of error will be higher it means it will lead to the poor quality but if we are using automatic system we can fix up we can prefix all the uh, we can say the equations all the uh, proceedings which we want to get from a particular uh, point of stage that we will getting in the same manner because system is working fully automated in that manner we can say we will be able to achieve the good quality level in the product itself so any point so far from your side related to the quality concept and fundamental factors affecting quality you can ask sir men wala point ek bar explain this conference will now be recorded so the next topic is quality management whenever we now you can see that in the previous topic we had only one term which was quality now we have added the management aspect in this term so what does it mean actually so we can go through with the meaning of this quality uh, management also just to go through with the definition which i am showing you with the, with the help of screen sharing that it is the act of overseeing different activities and task within an organization means we are talking about all the different activities which are taking place within the premises and task within an organization to ensure that products and services offered as well as the means used to achieve them are consistent so what is main feature in this quality management that whatever we are doing whatever plan policies for our strategies we have implemented whether they are working consistently fine consistently fit or not that is all about the quality management means a manager the quality manager has to manage that the consistent level of quality is being achieved by the organization organization means in the various processes in the various phases of production in the various phases of store management everywhere whatever were the quality levels whether they are consistently achieved or not that is the responsibility of the quality manager so it helps to achieve and maintain a desired level of quality within the organization so whatever is the level of quality which an organization has decided that this is the level which we need to achieve that will be the responsibility of quality manager to be achieved by the workforce the next is concept of quality uh, components of quality management so you can see there are certain components of quality management so broadly we have these four uh, components of quality management like quality planning then we have quality improvement control and assurance so first we will go through with the quality planning that it means what we need to do we have to set up the standards ki hum aane wale time mein in the next 3 month or in the next 6 month or in an year what will be the quality benchmark for the organization wherever i say organization it means in their hr policies in their marketing policies in their production policies what will be the benchmark that we that a quality manager has to be ensure that we are able to manage them throughout the year not only one day but across the year we have to achieve the standards so for that purpose first we need to finalize and plan whatever are the standards that we are going to incorporate we have to uh, identify them then we have improvement also according to the plan we are working very good but again at the same level we want to improve our current benchmark also so we always try to figure out whatever are the opportunities of improvement in any processes in any phases in any work practices if the improvement chances are there we need to incorporate those changes also so for improvement the next topic is also there which we call the kaizen kaizen is for the same that is for continuous improvement in our quality standard that we will cover later the third point is quality control means the continuing effort to uphold a process's integrity and reply and reliability in achieving an outcome what does it mean whatever standards we have set we are achieving them but again it is again the responsibility of the quality manager that whether whatever standards were fixed the actual work actual processes actual uh, methods are in the same manner as per the standards or not that we need to again check the differences if there is any differences any deviation between the set quality standards or the actual achievement of quality then we have to work upon it 
so for that purpose we have to also apply the quality control concept for which we have different methods we will cover later and the fourth one is quality assurance which means the systematic or the planned actions necessary to offer sufficient reliability that a particular service or product will meet the specified requirement so we have gone through with the numerous ads which are there on the television which always ensures that their products have the quality as we can say the for example patanjali baba ramde dantakanti toothpaste they always emphasize upon the quality that it is made up of various ingredients which are herbal in nature which is good for your health so because of that reason you have to purchase it so they are always emphasizing upon the quality like we can take the example of uh, colgate ved shakti which is again emphasizing that we are using the traditional herbal plants herbal medicines for developing or manufacturing that toothpaste so because of that reason you have to purchase it so quality should always remain the central point of your offerings then only customer will come otherwise they will not turn you turn up back to your products so so any this Kaizen conference means, will yes, now be recorded <clears throat> as it is written with the title itself that it is continuous improvement so as we were talking about the opportunity to improvement for that purpose we have the kaizen method which is a compound of two japanese word as it is written in the slide also which means uh, together we translate it as good change or improvement but kaizen has come to mean continuous improvement means regularly we have to look into the various processes methods tools techniques software you are, we are using for measuring the qualities the quality workforce which we are hiring whether there is a chance of improvement in our processes in our workforce in our methods which we are using in the products which we are delivering to the customer can we use some refined or good quality ingredients or not that is the possibility where we can incorporate changes so for that purpose we apply this technique which we call the kaizen methodology kaizen means we have to always be curious to know what are the various possibilities what are the various ideas if we can incorporate it we can have the good quality level in our processes methods stage or production or in product itself we can achieve so for that purpose we have uh this continuous improvement methodology which is known as kaizen so as you can see kaizen has its origins in post world war 2 japanese quality circle so from there it this topic has been arrived this topic has been coined which is known as kaizen methodology or we call it continuous improvement so some principles are there uh, related to the kaizen which we will cover one by one the first is let go of assumptions what does it mean as we know every uh, very well that every method or every tool has certain assumptions but when we apply kaizen we should not be worried about the assumptions it means if some scopes are there in violating assumptions and finding an opportunity or scope to improvement then we should also go with go ahead with that particular uh, idea if it is so वैसे काफी मुश्किल होता है एजम्पन्स को वॉयलेट करना बट अगेन बाय वॉयलेटिंग दोज एजम्पन्स इफ वी कैन फाइंड आउट सम स्कोप ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट देन वी नीड टू अप्लाई द सेम फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द क्वालिटी इन आर वेरियस प्रोसेसेस द सेकंड वन इज बी प्रोएक्टिव अबाउट सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स मींस व्हेनेवर वी आर फेसिंग एनी प्रॉब्लम्स वी शुड नॉट बी फॉलोइंग द ट्रेंड the as an employee we are facing problem we will report to the manager he will report to the superior authorities then the solution will come no what we need to do if as an employee we are facing some problems <clears throat> if we have some ideas we need to test it with the confirmation from our superiors means our uh, supervisors if we allows then we should be proactive in solving that kind of problem by ourselves only we should not escalate this issue to the next level because it will consume time and the problem will remain as it is till the confirmation comes from the management so for that purpose we need to be proactive we have to, we have to take initiatives in solving problems if we can take it then definitely we can resolve the problem also if the scopes are there scope is if scope exists third one is look for solutions as you find mistakes to jo humne baat ki abhi proactive hone ki 
means we have to remain very much uh, curious about solving the problems as we have discussed in the second point now if some mistakes has been taken place because of some employee because of some misunderstanding then what is the ultimate solution what is the ready made solution which we can apply then and there only that we need to apply also if we found if we able to find it uh, suitable to implement the next is create an environment in which everyone feels empowered to contribute so i will uh, also quote my previous organization example uh, the first company which i have joined uh, it was patni computers private limited where we were applying this uh, methodology means they had a competition which they call a uh, kaizen idea what was there in that particular uh, uh, competition that you need to provide some ideas through which we can improve our existing processes तो जो बेस्ट आइडिया होता था उसको फिर वो अवार्ड भी दिए जाते थे टॉप थ्री विल गेट सम प्राइजेस सम एप्रिशिएशन सम रिकॉग्निशन एट द एंड ऑफ एवरी मंथ तो इन दैट मैनर द कंपनी आल्सो मोटिवेट्स टू देयर एम्प्लॉयज टू कंट्रीब्यूट इन सच ए मैनर सो दैट दे कैन प्रोवाइड सम इफेक्टिव सॉल्यूशन फॉर आर एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोसेस इंप्रूवमेंट तो दैट काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट हैज टू बी क्रिएटेड इन ईच एंड एवरी डे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन to achieve the better level of quality by consistent improve, uh, improvement the next is don't accept the obvious issue instead ask why five times to get the root cause what does it mean ki humko sirf ye nahi puchna chahiye ki issue kya hai acha ye issue aaya hai humko issue kya hai na puchkar what we need to do we should ask why how why it is occurring what is the ultimate solution for that purpose we need to dig out we should not go only for the what is the issue we should go why it is existing why it is occurring and how do we solve it that kind of approach we have to build up so there is a need to transform our approaches also from what we need to reach to the why the next is a uh, full information is co op c uh, co op f kar lijiyega it is full information and opinions uh, from multiple people means we have to take all the insights all the input all the opinions from each and every stakeholder within the processes agar kisi process mein koi fault hai if some problems are there we need to take 360 degree opinions and information from each level top middle and level which uh, lower level which are associated with that particular processes based on that we can solve the problem more effectively as a quality manager the seventh one is use creativity to find low cost small improvements means we should always be focused upon low cost solution why because it will ultimately reduce our overall cost of cost uh, quality improvement as well we should not go always with the expensive solutions because that can be offered by anyone because they are ready made available so we can hire we can hire a expert he can solve the problem that kind of approaches are traditional but we should go with the low cost solution as i said in our company we had the kaizen competition that kind of competition will not cost you more but it will give you more uh, suggestions to be incorporated in your existing processes so that you can improve the quality of your existing process and methods and the next is never stop improving means after doing all the solution for the existing problems the mistakes we should not stop then and there only we should be focusing upon how we can better improve the existing processes even after incorporating the solutions which we have uh, incorporated for solving the problems or the mistake it is a ongoing cycle which will never stop for improvement in any processes or in any product because chance of scope always remains present in every scenario